So hi, everybody. Welcome to Four Seasons Medical Qigong. This is Qixian time, the traditional Chinese medicine with me, Kathy Yang. Welcome to our first week of Four Seasons Medical Qigong. We're focusing on the spring set to help your liver health and something beneath it called your gallbladder. So this is the spring season. This is called the wood element. So think of everything warming up and starting to blossom and spread. In the spring season, when you feel good, your liver chi, that your energy is circulating. It's flowing and you feel good. When something's blocked, liver chi gets blocked and we don't feel good, we feel stagnant. This is like a tree that wants to spread and it's locked in. So part of the four season spring set, this is to let your liver health spread and blossom. Can everybody open up like a big tree, root yourself into the ground and let your branches spread like you're yawning in the morning, all the way to your fingertips. And take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, spread your branches. One more time. Very good. So when our liver health is balanced, we feel patient, we feel calm and at peace. When our liver starts getting stagnant, we feel irritable, we feel angry. The energy gets stuck and we can get headaches. As the season goes from winter to spring, in our last course, we worked on the winter set, strengthening our kidney health. This is what we call the mother of your liver. So as winter transitions to spring, what we want to watch out for, as the sun gets warmer, one of the things that can cause us out of balance, this is called liver heat. Everybody make fire with your hands. Fire and heat always goes up. When you have liver heat, you have problems of mood swings, headaches, insomnia, red eyes, high blood pressure. Everybody make that heat. That makes us feel unbalanced and uneasy. That liver wood is on fire. To balance this season, we need to inhale longer and bring that energy back down, anchor it, and calm it down. Everybody feel the liver heat. This is called yang energy, Y-A-N-G, fire. We feel uneasy. Everybody feel the headaches. Feel the high blood pressure. Feel the red eyes full of anger, irritability. Feel the insomnia. You cannot sleep. Too much heat. Overthinking. Stress. Let's inhale deeply. In. And calm that liver heat. Inhale second time. Calm that liver heat. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. So everybody, let's find where is our liver. Take your right hand, raise it as high as you can. I want you to raise the roof with your right side as high as you can and bring it in for a right hand high five. Yay, feeling our energy connected. Good, let's bring it here to our right rib, about halfway on your body. This here is the ribs protecting your liver. Everybody take a moment, inhale deeply. See if you can tune in behind your ribs. This is your liver organ. Two more deep breaths. Take a deep breath. Feel your liver organ.
good. Here, the ribs are protecting your liver. In order to have a good liver health, we need to stretch it, raise that right hand, and we need to squeeze it. Everybody raise and stretch that right side for the liver and squeeze it. See if you can feel your liver is beneath that rib and a little part hangs down beneath the ribs. That's the part that we need to squeeze and stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Look for the squeeze and the stretch. Very good. That helps our liver energy to circulate. The role of the liver, everybody making what's called, I call it your organ house, making a little roof over your chin and make three levels, one on the diaphragm level, lowest part of the chest, the lowest one at your belly button level. These are three levels of your organ health. This in Chinese medicine, we call the triple burner. Everybody scan your upper level, upper burner. This is your attic where it gets very hot. This is your heart and your lung. This is important heart for the summer season, your lungs for the autumn season. Coming down to the middle level between your diaphragm and your belly button. This here is the kitchen of your organ health. Everybody scan on your right, your liver, Make a little small donut hole and put it beneath your liver. This is called your gallbladder. This is a yin yang pair. This is a team. They're both part of the wood element. And wood is connected with the green color like the trees. This is part of your kitchen level that helps with digestion. Coming on your left side, everybody raise the roof with your left. As high as you can and bring it in for a high five. Good, feel now your liver is balanced on your left with your spleen. Everybody feel on the left rib, this is your spleen organ, connected with the pancreas, helping us to process the sugar and digest our food to make more chi and more blood. This is the neighbor of your liver, so everybody, we need to balance liver health by balancing the spleen health. Gently squeeze on the left and raise the roof on the left. Squeeze and stretch. Good. So two of the healing sounds that we'll be using to harmonize this kitchen level. On the right side is called the shu sound. In Chinese it's pronounced xu, and it's as if you're telling your liver to gently be quiet. Everybody try on the right side, as high as you can. Come down with the shi sound. Shh. On your left, stretch as high as you can. You're going to be using the hu sound, each you. Like you're warming your hands in the winter, For the left is the spleen, up on the right, this is the liver. High as you can, coming down with the shi sound. On the left, as high as you can, 
coming down. This is the whole sound for the spleen. One more time for the liver connected with finger. On the left, the whole sound for the worries of the spleen. Very good. So that's one of the first pieces for the spring set. This is from the eight pieces of brocade called Separate Heaven and Earth, where you push up and push down to harmonize liver and spleen. This is also called lift singly, lifting one hand at a time. In Chinese, so yo, left, right, single lifting, ban ji. So yo, ban ji, left and right, single lifting. Harmonizing the liver and spleen by stretching. The second piece where you stretch, open the side. This is called white ape, picks up the peach. One hand holding down in the center. Imagine you're going to pick a peach like a little monkey as high as you can. And you're going to turn behind you, stretch, and come back down to the center. Change hands. Pick up the peach with that stretch. Open up that kitchen level, the liver and spleen. In the peach, high as you can. Turn behind you, the twist, and change. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. One more time, each side. Add in the healing sound for the liver on the right. The shri sound. The hu sound for the spleen on the left. Very good. So that's the second piece. Total, there's four pieces in the four season spring set. The two first two are about stretching, opening this kitchen level. The next two is more about squeezing. So you're looking for this squeeze, deep squeeze on the liver and spleen. Number three, this is called Lohan. Lohan is just the person's name. During the Han Dynasty, Lo Han bows down. So we're going to have your hand on the opposite leg. This creates a squeeze. So you can take left hand, touch your right leg. Other hand, you're going to reach over, look for that stretch. And you're going to reach over your head to the opposite foot. Lo Han bows down. And touch your foot if you can. Or touch your knee if you cannot go all the way, or your hip. And then come back to the center. Rise up by tucking in your tailbone, rising all the way from middle back to your upper back and shoulder. Try the opposite side. Right hand, touch the opposite foot, opposite leg. Open up your left side for the spleen. Reach over your head. Lohan bows down, touching your opposite foot, right foot. Feel that squeeze on your liver side on your right. Come to the center, slowly rise up, dropping your hand and relax. Try again one more time, each side, opposite hand, opposite foot, 
reach over your head. Lohan bows on your left for your skin. Feel that squeeze on your spleen side. Center. Touching your liver channel coming up. We're going to trace the liver channel soon. Opposite. Reach over. And bow down. Touching your big toe. Slide up, tucking your tailbone, passing your knees, your groin area, your ribs and lungs, and relax. We're going to go one more time with a shi sound for the liver and a hu sound for the spleen. So if you feel dizzy at any point, just make sure you rise up more slow, or you can do this sitting down. So everybody, let's try again. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Reach up. Try to feel one time. Feel your hand without crossing. You can feel the organs relax. But because we're looking for the squeeze, you want to press on the opposite side. Feel that squeeze as if you're hugging your spleen on the left. And feel it open that's relaxed. And feel the squeeze. Now let's go for the deeper squeeze, low hand bows down. Coming down, right hand, touching left foot. Slide up from the center, touching the big toe, tucking your tailbone, rising up, passing your knees, the groin area, the diaphragm, and your lungs. And let's go opposite side, last time. Feel for the right hand cross and left hand lift up. Try to feel without crossing the hand, there's less of a squeeze. When you touch the opposite leg, feel that squeeze on the liver side. Relax and squeeze. And low hand bows down. Center. Inhale coming up. Exhale. Good. Try one more time each side with the Shri sound for the liver. When you go right hand over, left hand, when you squeeze the right side using the Shri sound. When you reach over with the right, squeezing the left, that's the whole sound for the spleen. Relax. And one time each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Other side. Belly rising. And relax. Good. So that one, number three, Lohan bows. You're looking for that deep squeeze in your liver and your spleen, that kitchen level. Number four is simply using an abdominal type of massage. You're going to go in and out with your belly. This is called in Chinese, Zong Wan, Zong, Z-H-O-N-G, that means center. So you're touching your center of your stomach. Dong Wan, W-A-N. This is a more acupuncture word for center of your stomach. Dong Wan. 
This is called Zong Wan, Up and Down. So for people who did the winter set last course, you had the big bear hugging, large bear, softening its waist. This is similar, except for the winter set, you're opening up the kidney. For this one, we're focused on the front, letting the abdominal area relax for that kitchen level. See if you can draw like a circle with your stomach. Kind of like belly dancing. Good. So thumb one up and down. Good. So those are the four exercises of the spring set. We're going to trace the liver channel where the liver energy flows from your, between your big toe and second toe, coming up on the inside of the legs, past your knees, past your groins, coming up the groin area and ending under your ribs. This is paired, liver is paired with your gallbladder. Remember gallbladder is under the liver. Gallbladder comes from the eyes, sides of the eyes, Past your ears, zigzags on your head, connected with headache and migraine. Coming down your neck, connected with neck stiffness, shoulder pain. Coming down on the sides, gallbladder is your judge of your whole body, your organ house. The judge, this gives you the left and right, whether to go left, whether to go right. Gallbladder is on your side coming down the sides of your ribs, coming down the sides of the hips, sides of the legs, coming all the way down the sides of the lower legs and ending on the lateral side of your fourth toe. So let's trace three times. You're going to flow from the gallbladder, coming down to your fourth toe and coming up on the liver on the inside. So touching the sides of your eyes, coming behind your ears, zigging zag, zigzag to the front. Think of headache, migraine, insomnia, coming past your neck, neck stiffness, shoulder pain, coming down, cramping on the sides of the ribs, inability to digest fatty food, related with gallbladder, coming on the sides of the hips. And this area is blocked, you have hip pain, people who need hip replacement. A lot of times this is related to liver and gallbladder. Coming down, sides of the legs, sides of the lower legs, ending on the lateral side of the fourth toe. And you're gonna touch between your big toe and second toe, sliding up the front, middle, and the inside passing your knees, so related with knee pain, passing the groin area, related with sexual health, coming up, so when you get the cramping beneath your ribs, this is related with liver pain, liver chi stagnation. You have an inner pathway that comes inside past your diaphragm. The inner path connects with your liver, the organ itself, passes the diaphragm, related with digestion, coming up past your lungs, and ending, opening in the eyes. So liver health, you can see it by somebody's eye. If it's red, if it's dry, if it's pulsing, that's a sign of there's too much heat. Everybody feel that liver heat in the spring, getting warmer, headaches, insomnia, high blood pressure, dry eyes, red eyes. This is a sign of that anger coming up. So people who drink alcohol, especially in the spring, and if they have already liver heat, think of what happens when you add alcohol to fire. Boom, that makes more fire. So alcohol is one of the worst things for the liver health. 
A little bit can move the energy, but too much creates liver heat. When you see this in the red eyes, dry eyes, and the eyes pulsing. Let's trace again the gallbladder channel from the sides of your eyes, the temple, coming behind your ears, coming forward to the forehead, down to the neck, shoulders, all the way down the sides, following the ribs, coming back to the hips, coming down the sides of the legs, all the way down to fourth toe on the lateral side, touching between your big toe and second toe, liver channel, coming up, passing the knees, growing, ribs, and it ends on the ribs, but the inner pathway comes up to the diaphragm, lungs, and eyes. See if you can go through one time by yourself and remember the key points related with liver health and gallbladder health. Good. Did you get all the key points? Remember, a lot of problems in the head, mood swings, headaches, insomnia. This is all related to gallbladder. You see it in the eyes, it's related to the liver. When you feel stress, that stress rising up, and you feel the tension in your neck, this is the heat drying out your tendons. Liver, gallbladder in charge of your tendons. You feel all tense in the shoulders. This is stress. That's the liver stagnation. Coming down to ribs. So any types of rib hypochondria below the rib pain. This is related liver chi stagnation. Coming down, zigzagging to the hips for the gallbladder. Coming all the way to the sides of your leg, ending on the fourth toe. Later, we're going to go Touch the liver channel, acupressure point on the top of the foot. For now, just touch between big toe and second toe, passing the knees. Liver blood is related with knee health. Coming up to the groin area. So liver chi stagnation can give you sexual frustration. The energy is not flowing in this area. Coming up under the ribs, hypochondriac pain. The inner pathway, passing your diaphragm, take a deep breath. That helps the diaphragm to massage the stomach area related to digestion. Coming up to the lungs, take another deep breath. Inner pathway coming to the eyes, related with your eye health. But just a note before we take a break, when the liver channel, the invisible pathway, connects with your diaphragm, this is related with your chi flow of your stomach, a healthy digestion that helps you to make more chi, that's more energy, and more blood. Everybody remember, more chi and more blood, that's health. So your stomach helps you digest your food to make more chi and more blood. Stomach energy needs to go down, down to that basement of the organ house, that's your intestines, coming down to all the filters, the kidneys and the lower back, and your bladder, filtering what you don't need and sending up nourishing what you need. When stomach chi 
instead of going down, it comes up. We say this is liver chi, rebellious chi. Everybody think of rebellious chi. It's not flowing in the way you want. Normal stomach chi should always go down, digest into the intestine. When stomach chi comes up, everybody, you feel the belching, the burping, the hiccups, acid reflux. You feel nausea and vomiting, heartburn. This is all that rebellious chi. We say the liver chi is attacking the stomach. So everybody remember, touch your stomach. Remember that the diaphragm is over the stomach. When you take deep breaths, this massages your stomach, helping the chi to flow down, helping you to make more chi and more blood. When that chi comes up, everybody feeling the burping, the belching, the hiccups, the acid reflux, nausea, vomiting, heartburn. This is all a sign of indigestion. The liver chi is attacking the spleen, spleen and stomach. So now we covered what the four exercises of the spring qigong is, and we learned the liver channel and the gallbladder channel. We're going to put it all together. We're going to do a little routine to practice, give you a chance to practice the four exercises and feel deeply how to balance your liver health. So I'm gonna pause, see if you have any questions. Let's grab a drink of water, nourish that liver wood so it can spread its branches. When you're doing the healing sound, you might hear that I'm softening at the end. This is actually just a recording issue, maybe on Zoom. They compensate for the sound. Maybe when they think it's a white noise, they dim it out. So maybe what you're hearing is when I say shh, shh, and then you miss the sound at the end. When you're practicing yourself, keep it strong. Shh. Keep it strong, as strong as your breath. So all the way through. So you create the vibration. So there's two ways you can make the sound. You can do it quietly, which is like I did, like a whisper. But you can also sing it. When you sing it, it creates that vibration to open up the energy. For the left, who? So see what feels good for you. Try to feel it and send that vibration to those two organs. So remember, we have the attic, the heart and the lung. The kitchen level, this is the liver, gallbladder on the right, stomach in the center, spleen on the left. Coming to the basement where it gets cold and wet, this is your large intestine, small intestine, bladder on the very bottom, urinary bladder, and on the back, the kidney. So the whole thing makes your organ health. Let's pay attention to which organ gets the attention for the squeeze and the stretch through the four exercises. So we'll do each one four times. This will be about 10 minutes. Stand in a ready position, nice and relaxed. Feet about shoulder width apart. Holding our hands at the Dantian, the energy center, two fingers below the belly button. Let's take three deep breaths, a deep belly breath where your belly moves. One more deep breath. Exhale and relax. Give your eyes a few blinks connected with your liver health. Good.
Let's begin with the first exercise, singly lifting the hand, separating heaven and earth. Let's begin with the right hand on bottom and lift the right elbow first. Stretch open, opening the liver organ. Coming down with a shri sound. Lift the left for the spleen. Give it a good stretch, high as you can. Coming down with the whole sound. Continue three times at your own pace. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. In, out. In. Very good. Slowly finishing, left and right, lift singly. Hand on the dantian, go to number two, white ape, white monkey, picks up the peach. Turning your hand, turning behind. Feel the stretch of the liver on the right. Change hands, white ape, picks up the peach. Feel that stretch of the spleen side. Continue with the shri sound and the hu sound. Three times at your own pace. Inhale coming up. Exhale coming down. Good. Give it one more, give it a squeeze and a twist. Inhale, exhale. In, out. Good. 
Going to number three, low hun bows down. Hand on the opposite leg, reaching up with your right and squeezing your left. Coming to the center, touch your liver channel coming up. And change hand. Opposite, right hand, touch the left leg. Left hand, reach over. And low hand bows down. Get the shri sound. Shh. Hit the center. And touching liver channel. Coming up. Continue three times each side at your own pace. Look for the squeeze and a deep healing sound. Slowly finish and relax. Coming to the fourth piece, we're going to use the tong one, the center stomach, up and down. Rolling your stomach from in and down. Feel your whole kitchen level, middle burner, relax. Good, so you can do about four times in the front and turn to the side and continue four times on the side. Come to the other side for the spleen and four times. Good. And try again, repeat four times each side. Try to slowly control your abdominal muscle and feel the inside relax. and continue the healing sound. Shh. 
Very good. And smooth it out. Good. It's just up down, center of the stomach to relax the whole kitchen level. And soothe out your right. Good. This is a nice massage technique where you have the bottom hand guiding the way and the hand on top adds the pressure. This way the hand on bottom stays relaxed and it's just guiding the way. And the one on top adds the pressure to go deeper. So bottom hand guiding, top hand adding the pressure. This keeps the bottom hand relaxed and the chi flows stronger. Center. And left. Good. So we're going to finish with five simple massages. We'll grab a chair. So we'll start with the first one. We'll be do, doing five different massages. The first one is just massaging the abdomen, focusing on massaging the liver on the right. Remember, this is halfway, right where your ribs are, with a little part of the liver hanging out. So here, using your right hand, I call this a right hand circle. So you're following your right hand fingers across your diaphragm down on the left, the spleen, across the bladder on the bottom, up on the right, right hand circle. This is following your natural bowel movement, helping your digestion. Same thing, the bottom hand is guiding the right hand, left hand pushes on top, adding the pressure to go deeper keeping the right hand relaxed. Let's go for about 12 to 24 times till it feels warm in the abdomen area. Good. After 12, check yourself that you feel okay in your hand and your abdomen. You can smooth it out in between, or you can continue for another 12 times. One thing I like to do sometimes is just focus on one organ at a time, just staying on my right, or continuing to the stomach and the center, bottom for the bladder, the ovaries or testicles. Coming to the left, the spleen. And go another 12 times. So keep it gentle and keep it relaxed. Good, and smooth it out. Good. The next point is the three yin meeting point. Finding the inner ankle from your highest point of your inner ankle. You're going to take four fingers on the second joint, align it with the highest point of the inner ankle, and four fingers above. Using your thumb, try to feel your tibia bone and roll behind the tibia bone four fingers above the inner ankle. So this is spleen number six. I use a yellow one for the earth color. Good. So I'll use another color just so you can see. So this is the same point we massaged in the kidney class for the winter set. This has three yin organs that meet here. One of the best points to help you sleep and calm your mind. This connects with the liver, the kidney, and the spleen. 
calming your anger, sad anger, worries, and fear. So you can use two thing, two thumbs and push down and circle, loosening it up. Just look for any blockage like a plumber and clearing the drain. Good. So in the beginning, just about 30 seconds to one minute. When it feels strong enough, you can go up to five minutes. Good. Let's go to the other side. Inner ankle, four fingers on the second joint above the inner ankle. Roll behind the tibia bone. Try to feel deeper and try to connect to your own energy on this point. Some people can feel the connection all the way to the liver, the spleen, and the kidneys. Good. Let's go to the liver number three next. This is called liver three. Liver channel, remember, starts from the feet and ending under the ribs. So liver one is here between the big toe, following big toe and second toe to the point where they split. This is called great surge, one of the best points against stress and irritability. Follow between big toe and second toe to where they split. There's a little depression there and you just push in and circle. Good. So push in and circle. In the beginning, don't worry about which direction to circle. Just try to feel what feels most comfortable. That's usually what your body needs. Or when you want to go deeper and understanding it further, if you follow the liver channel, so from one up to 14, this helps nourish the chi. So following the flow of the river, when you go against the current, so going towards against the flow of the liver, this reduces the energy. So if somebody has liver heat, you want to reduce it, you go against the current. Let's go other foot, liver three, between big toe and second toe to where they split. And push in there either with your thumb or index finger. Using two thumbs, it usually balances out more. So here I'm just pushing and deep and then smoothing it out towards the toe. So people who wake up, especially between one to three at night, a lot of times I find when people have wine with their meal. At night, they tend to wake up between one to three if they have liver heat. Liver heat that wakes you up one to three, that's the hour where the chi is stronger in the liver. So when you wake up and you cannot fall asleep from one to three, from liver heat, try pushing this point, liver three, to help open the energy stagnation. This is called Pai Tong, P-A-I, that means great. Tong, C-H-O-N-G, that means surge or rushing, helping the energy to rush down and flow. Good, 
good. From there, let's go two points at the upper body. Two points on the gallbladder, that's very important, is on the base of your head. This is gallbladder 20 called Fengzi, wind pool. So here, when you interlock your fingers, where your thumbs are, cup behind your head, right at the base where the hairline is, you want to go about one thumb width above, above the posterior hairline. And right where the thumb is, at the edge. So here, I'll put two stickers. It'll be harder to see. Fong Tzu, gallbladder 20. One Tun, one thumb width above the hairline. And this is between two muscles called the sternocleidomastoid and your trapezius. So between two muscles, see if you can feel around. Two muscles. This two points is very good for headaches, migraines, and sleep. Anything to do with the head. So these two points are so important. When I was in China doing my internship, one doctor, he had so many patients. He was a very popular doctor. He had two points that he always must always acupunctured. Gallbladder 20 was one of them, these two points. Another one was on the foot, stomach, stomach point right at the ankle. So these tend to be good for stress, but I find this one, this can be very important for anyone who looks at the computer a lot, looks at their device a lot, headaches, eye, eye strain, massage gallbladder 20. Push up towards the base of the skull and circle. In eight pieces of brocade, we have the sitting set where we flick our fingers at the base of the skull. This is another way to open up gallbladder 20. We'll do that for another class. So let's go down to pericardium six. This is connected with the diaphragm to ease the chi and help it go in the right direction. So if you want, to, this is pericardium, that's the sac around the heart, connected with the heart energy. Coming to the wrist crease, go two finger width below the wrist crease. Good, pericardium channel follows the center middle finger. Coming down to two fingers below the wrist crease between two tendons. Here, when you follow middle finger, coming down two fingers below between the two tendons. I like to push my thumb on that side and then middle finger on the back. This, this is connected with inner pass and outer pass. Make one, inner pass, and white one on the triple burner, white one. This helps your chi to flow in the right direction so preventing those abdominal issues with digestion. So you can massage this for another 30 seconds. This one I find very good in acupuncture. We use it a lot for women who have morning sickness, that's that chi that's coming up and you want to help it come, calm down. So here, make one and white one. The back one is good for clearing the heat. Directly opposite. The front one connects with the diaphragm. Good, and it's symmetrical on the other side. Following two fingers, Below the wrist crease, coming down, following middle finger, so two between the two tendons, two fingers below the wrist crease. 
And directly opposite, triple burner five. Clearing the heat and balancing the chi, following in the right direction. So when you feel nauseous, when you feel you're about to throw up, vomiting, you have hiccups and they're not going away, a lot of acid reflux, the energy is coming up and you want to help it calm down. Massage inner path, make one, pericardium six, and white one, outer pass, triple burner five, just for about one minute to five minutes. Especially I find for summer heat, this is one of the best points for clearing that summer heat. I'm squeezing and circling. Good. So those are the key points. We have massaging the liver, just this abdominal massage. You have the three yin meeting points on the spleen, on the inner ankles. We have the gallbladder 20 behind the head, pericardium six on the wrists, and liver free on the back of the foot. We'll go over each one each time, massaging these key points. So that concludes our first class. Hope you have an idea of liver and gallbladder health for the spring season, how to strengthen it and help the chi to flow. Remember you're looking for the squeeze and the stretch. So give me one last right hand high five to finish. Yay, you did a good job strengthening your liver health. So thank you for joining me. Till next time, this is TCM time. Keep letting your health shine.